Yes, so here we are with yet another tutorial, React, Material UI, and some advanced stuff we're going to cover. So we are going to cover how we can use breakpoints actually for different devices. And I'll show you a couple of ways and then we will use how we can use our own custom breakpoints. So let's talk about the setup. Uh, what I have is Material UI install as a dependency and if you want to know how to do that you can watch my previous videos as i've covered that and then i have this my app i'll leave it for now we'll talk about it later and then i have a styles folder with a style.js file fairly blank now uh, we're gonna use our own custom i guess breakpoints here so i'll close that and then the app.js honestly i have added this um, hook and actually two hooks and all I'm doing is getting the window size. So as I resize the window, it will get triggered this so that we know the different breakpoints we're going to hit. So while we're here, let's um, let's add it. So I can just do width. And as you can see, I'm at 745. And as we move this window, you can see that the it changes. So I just first to get a visual um, visual idea. All right, with that out of the way, so where do we start? So the simplest thing is you can just define a style up here with your different breakpoints. So let's say we want to change the color of this based on different breakpoints. So I'll come here, we'll say const, and we'll say responsive, and we'll say styled, and it's gonna be a div. We have seen this before all right so it brought it from emotion uh, what we want to do is bring it from material styles so we'll say muy material styles I think that's what it is yep all right so now we need to use this okay there's an error on this and it's not a function da -da -da -da. all right so we need to do like this all right, so what do we do? Well, well let's define some breakpoints. So how do we do this? Well, you start like this. You say theme. Well, what is theme? Well, we need to pass that in here. And this is kind of given to you. So once you define it here and kind of dereference it, I guess, that it'll be available to you. So we can say theme dot breakpoints dot. So I can say down and let's define. So these are different breakpoints. So I'll say, you know, medium, right? What do we want to do when we get to that? Then I want to change the color. So I'll say color green and let's give it a 500. Okay, so now nothing will happen, of course, because we're not using it. So I'll come here and I'll make this, this responsive. Let's copy this, paste it and save. All right, so let's see, so when I, you can see so when I'm down medium so medium is I think tablets I think so so this changes color as I go up then it uh, goes back to the original color All right, so we're gonna define um, different breakpoints now and you can do down you can also do up so I can come here I can say up so anything above the medium it's gonna be green so when I change it that's there you go otherwise it'll remain the uh, original color so now let's uh, use a couple more. So let's say we go, I'm just gonna do this, and then we'll say small, medium, and large. And then let's say this is green, uh, and then I'll go with the purple, and how about we go with red? Okay, so let's see if this will work. So when I go above uh, small, then it's green, and so there we go so the medium is purple and if i go above large it becomes red which is this one and anything below that is white so you can use access for that so anyway so that's one way of doing your responsive design and i'll leave that here and then we can also do it our own custom name so for example you don't like the small medium or large and you would like to define your own custom names for it so how do you do that well, so you come over here in the styles and we will just do it here. So I can say export const and I'll say theme is equal to create theme. I've covered creating theme in my one of my other video on material UI. And how do we define it? So we can say breakpoints, right? 
and then what you do is you say values all right okay so we can say that mobile is zero and we can say tablet is 768 and then i can say laptop is 10 oh, 24 and then we can say desktop is 1200 all right so now that you've defined these your own custom uh, i guess values then we can use it and how do we use it well we use something called a theme provider so you come here and you say theme provider and we'll say theme is equal to our own theme and let's see if it will bring it yep and you come here and you wrap it in that theme provider all right so that's cool so we have defined our own theme provider okay the theme provider is not defined i don't know why i didn't define it so let me see theme provider here we go and so instead of let's say this i want to use those values that i defined so it's very simple all i have to do is come here and i can say mobile and then i can say tablet and then i can say desktop all right so now i am using my own custom value so i'm saying anything uh, above mobile uh, it will be green then anything above tablet should be purple and anything above which is a desktop should be red so you can use now for different screens you can customize this way all right so that's all nice and fine and um, let's say we want to take this a step further so i'll just come here and add a bit a couple of lines of code and then uh, we will add to it all right, so as you can see i've added the mobile tablet and desktop and the idea is to show them only on the respective devices uh, device um, sizes I want to show mobile when I'm in the mobile size, tablet and desktop, you get the idea. So how do you do that with the SX? Well, fairly straightforward. Uh, we will come here and we'll say SX, all right? And then you come here and you say the display properties. So that's the, since that's the one I wanna target, I'll say display and then I will say tablet and we'll say none. So on tablet, I don't want to see this. And of course it gave me error. No, there's no error, okay. So if I um, I'll keep changing this, you can see the you can see the mobile is gone on tablet. So there you go. See that's tablet. So now we want to do the same to the other um, other elements. So I can come here and I can say SX, right? And I can say display because that's what we want to control. You can uh, actually control anything in the width. The, uh, Pretty much any CSS property you can think of. So then I will say that the tablet on mobile I want to show none, and on desktop I want to show none. So let's see how that works. After I add my yeah, I'm good. All right, so now we go. So just um, uh, okay. Actually, I want to hide the desktop here on small devices uh, screen sizes so i can say sx equals display and then i can say mobile none i can say tablet none all right and then i can say on desktop block and for tablet i want to do for i can come here and i can say tablet block like so so let's see perfect so now we are mobile so we can see mobile now we go to tablet nice and then we go to desktop beautiful i like it so as you can see with the sx property you can now control individual elements and using different media queries so i think that's pretty cool i like it and so now let's uh, i have this uh, my app thing where I have these menus and what we'll see is how we can show and hide the menu Based on different screen sizes. So if I come here and I can just bring that here To show you guys what's going on All right, um So it's giving me error. Let's see why export default function my app. So I have it 
and maybe what I'll do is I'll say my app from my app my app okay something happened let's wait for it all right so as you can see I have these menus I have a desktop menu and a mobile menu and they're both showing at the same time what I would like to do is using the media queries I'd like to control them and show them only on the device they're supposed to be shown so if I just show you this menu so what I have is two menus, a menu desktop, which is this one, and then I have a menu mobile, which is just these three bars. And as you can see, just, just they're just contained in a container, display of flex, direction column, pretty straightforward. You can read this code if you want. But now we want to control the display of these um, different menus. So how do we do that? If I come to my app, uh, I have the two menus defined here. I have the menu desktop and the menu mobile and then I would like to add some media queries to control them. So if I come here and what I can do is first uh, get a hold of my theme. So I can say theme is equal to use theme. Now this is a hook that comes with material UI. So I think it brought it from emotion but we need to bring it from MUI. MUI material and styles. I think that's where it resides. And the other problem I have is this. All right, so now that I have the theme, now in, in material UI, there's a hook, which is the use media query. So we can use that. So I can say const and we can say matches. Say use media query, here you go. And we will give it the different breakpoints. So let's say I want to, you know, use tablet as my breakpoint. So I can say theme dot breakpoints dot down, and you can say tablet. But remember, that's the one our custom tablet is our custom style value we define here. So that's pretty cool. Now, what, how can we use this here? Well, uh, I can just come here and first of all wrap this in these interpolation whatever braces. And then I can say that if not, if not mobile devices, then you display this. Otherwise, you display that. So what it is saying is, if we're, we're so if this is true, this media query, then it's going to display the mobile. If the this is false, means we're on a larger screen, then you display desktop. So let's take it for a spin. So if I now um, change the size of this window look at that so I think that's amazing you can very quickly now control and you can do a lot of stuff with it you can dip, um, you know if you have images you want to um, maybe shrink them your font size you can change that you can do a lot a lot of stuff with this so what this is saying is uh, basically when the breakpoints is below tablet that's when this will be true and that's when this will be true and that's when we're going to show the menu mobile and you can you know do a drawer you can do whatever you want so i think that clarifies how to do media queries in uh, react with material ui and um, please like and subscribe if you have any more questions or want to make more videos just uh, shoot me a line bye for now